Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Trailblazers Callum Wilson. So as you can see I have completed the objective and he is coming in with an 86 rated card. It's a pretty good looking card to be honest, um, fairly decent striker especially for the stage of the game. Free card as well, very very easy to get through objectives and you know he does look pretty good like I said 86 pace, 88 shooting, 71 passing, 85 dribbling, 81 physical. Like I said, a very very good card so hopefully he plays as well as his stats suggest. So regardless, let's just hop into the uh, review and we are going to start with just having a little look at his stats in further detail. So we are going to first start off with the player bio. So as you can see, he is 5 foot 11, he is right footed. Uh, high medium work rates with 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, which is a bit annoying on that combination. But he can play center forward and striker, so there's not too many options there in terms of squad building. Then looking at his stats, he's got 86 pace with 88 sprint speed. He's got 88 shooting with 93 positioning and 92 finishing. He does have 91 penalties as well, so he can step up to hit those. He's got 71 passing with 74 vision and 77 short passing, as well as 85 dribbling with 91 reactions, 88 ball control and 86 composure. He does have 86 head heading accuracy as well as 81 physical with 93 jumping and 82 strength. So it is a very good looking card. But nonetheless, let's get into the review. Let's see how he plays and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So into the first clip here, we do have the ball with Jude Bellingham. We do lose it, but win it back pretty quickly there with Virgil van Dijk. He plays the ball to James Madison. We spot the run there and we do play it through to Ansu Fati. He plays it over the top and onto the ball is Callum Wilson there. Great finish on the volley, great play from him and a great goal. Here we get the ball again with Wilson. We do lose it unfortunately there, a bit of a heavy touch from him. But the ball finds its way back to him and this time he makes no mistake with the finish. On the 3 star weak foot, hits the post and finds the back of the net. Wilson on the ball again, plays through to Ansu and Fati trying to find a position to cross the ball from. And we are going to find Madison with the pass, back to Ansu, back to Callum Wilson there. Great team play, great goal as well. Good finish from him once again on the weak foot. You know, showing that the 3 star weak foot is not too much of a problem as he can still finish on both sides. Up next on the ball here, we are going to make the tackle as the opposition tries to come out of defense with the ball. Onto on the ball, he heads it back through to Wilson. And Wilson on the volley, once again, half volley, just rifles it home past the goalkeeper there. Great shot there, great play and a great finish. Before stepping up here with Kyle Walker, he plays this ball through to Jude Bellingham, who gets the ball through to Callum Wilson. A great pass there, just slides it through to Abu, uh, sorry, to, to Musa Diaby, and Diaby with a little finesse shot there, just beating the keeper, all ends up. Diaby on the ball here, plays it over the top to Callum Wilson, good strength there to retain possession, he plays it through to Fati, and Fati, first time shot, finishes the chance. This ball lands to Callum Wilson there, great touch to get past the defender, he just rifles home into the roof of the net once again, beating the goalkeeper, giving him no chance whatsoever. Madison makes the tackle here, plays through to Callum Wilson, a great take from him, beautiful little turn there to beat the defender and once again just rifled home into the top corner, great goal, great finish and all round just fantastic play from Callum Wilson. Up next, Chouameni on the ball, he finds Diaby once again, through to Wilson and we are going to go for a little shot there from distance, unfortunately keeper saves it but he can do nothing about the second shot here, just absolutely slammed home across the keeper's box and given no chance at all. Wilson on the ball here again, great play from him, great dribbling there to get around the defender and once again just slammed past the keeper, just absolutely no chance to reach that ball because he just hits them so hard. Good pass there from Callum Wilson through to uh, Kolomwani who is able to finish that on the volley and pretty much brings an end to the gameplay. So as you can see we do end this review with 6 games, 8 goals and 2 assists. 10 goal contributions in 6 games from this card, very good return from him and that should tell you what you need to know. Nonetheless, we are going to run through the card stat by stat. I'll give you an overview at the end as well, but let's start with Pace. So honestly, Pace, he is decently quick. He's not rapid, but he's not slow either. You know, he's got some good pace on him. When you send him through, you know, he's not going to get caught. He's, he's definitely fast enough, especially um, if you give him a chem style with uh, a pace boost, especially like a hunter. So, you know, you're not going to have any issues with uh, pace on this card. Then when it comes to shooting, his shooting is actually fantastic. You know, long range, short range, left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. He just bangs the shots every time. He hits them with so much of power, so much of force. The ball just flies past the keeper every time and it gives him no chance of saving it. 
which is very impressive because um you know finishing is kind of difficult in this game it's a bit dodgy now and then as well so to have this guy on your team such a good finisher you know he's going to finish all his chances so just a great card to have in terms of uh target man up top and then when it comes to his passing his passing is honestly nothing to uh, be amazed by but it's not bad either He's got decent link up play, he can link up with his other strikers, so as long as you pair him with some creative players, he will um, pop up to finish chances and you know he can link up to create chances for his teammates as well. Then when it comes to his dribbling, his dribbling is decent, um, you know nothing special, he does have 3 star skills, he's got decent um, movement as well. So his left stick is, is pretty good as well, he can evade defenders, he can move around little circles as well, he can get past the opposition when he needs to and you know he's got the pace as well to, to get through when he goes past them. So he can just burst past him if needs be and you know he's gonna finish the chance once he creates it. So his dribbling is decent and his physical as well is very good. He's He's got some de decent strength on him. He can hold himself against the bigger defenders. You know he doesn't fall low, he doesn't get pushed off the ball very easily. So that's another great thing about this card. So all in all, what do I think of this card? Honestly, it's a very good card considering it's a free card from objectives and it's a very very easy objective to do as well. It's just a very very good card from EA so you know we got to give them credit where credit is due good card pretty much anybody can complete it free objective very easy to do as well definitely worth doing even if you don't want to use them um 86 rated good card for fodder so you know he, he will come in handy one way or the other so if you want to complete this objective um i think you should even if you don't want to complete him i reckon you should just go ahead and do it anyway it's a must complete objective for me whether you want to use him or um like in your team or as an SPC, still a very good card to have so I definitely suggest getting him, you know, you're not going to regret it because he will do a good job in your team as well. So what I give him as a rating out of 10, he gets an 8 out of 10, which is a pretty solid rating. I mean, it's not, it's not the highest of ratings that I've given, it's not up there with the best players that I've used, but obviously that makes sense because this card isn't one of the best cards that I've used. Obviously, like I said, don't take that in the wrong way that I'm saying he's bad because he's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. He's just not in the top tier of cards and obviously that's what you would expect from a free objective card. So 8 out of 10, very very solid rating and it is honestly a very good card. So you know, um, I think that perfectly encapsulates this card. Uh, he's not up there with the best players in the game but he's definitely a card worth getting because like I said, he is very very good. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button and leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time guys, peace.